Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ali Smalls and in today's video, I'm showing you all the fun things to do in Bucerias, Mexico. So let's get to it. We're starting off with the beach, one of the nicest in the entire Banderas Bay. The soft golden sand stretches for over five miles and provides unobstructed views of Puerto Vallarta in the distance. Most days, the waves are gentle enough to swim and it's shallow for quite a ways out. Perfect conditions for kids to swim, paddle boarding, windsurfers, and boogie boarding. The beach is also lined with some chill beach bars, many of which have daily happy hours. And my favorite thing to do on the beach in Bucerias is to get a massage. You'll find many massage tents as you go along and you can get anything from a therapeutic to a deep tissue massage. Prices vary a little bit, but it's about 25 to $30 for one hour or around 400 pesos. I just finished my massage on the beach. It was one hour of pure bliss. One of the best things to do in Bucerias is to go for a horseback ride on the beach and we're doing it at sunset. It's pretty magical. This cost us 500 pesos each for a 45 minute ride. Tourists and locals alike flock to the beach daily for Pacific sunsets that are unmatched anywhere else on earth. You can nearly hear the sun sizzle as it plunges beneath the ocean. Visit one of the popular beach bars like Karen's or Marisol around 6 p.m. to watch the fiery spectacle. Or visit one of the many OXO stores and buy your own beverages and bring them to the beach. Next, we have the Golden Zone, which is the arts district anchored by Lazaro Cardenas Street. Known as the Zona Dorada in Spanish, this long street is lined with art galleries, boutique shops, spas, and locally owned restaurants and bars. It's also where the majority of boutique hotels and condo rentals are located and is the most popular area for tourists to stay in. The Golden Zone is more than Lazaro Cardenas, but this is just the main street that anchors the entire area. It's also only one block off the beach and connects to Centro, or downtown, via the pedestrian bridge across the river channel, also known as the Kissing Bridge. As you make your way into Centro, you'll pass through the Souvenir Market, which is open every day till about 5 or 6 p.m. It's a fun little shopping spot and all the vendors are friendly. Here you'll find every kind of souvenir and trinket you can imagine. Centro itself is another popular spot to hang out. It's where the plaza is located and really comes alive at night with locals, vendors, and food stalls. There's also tons of more restaurants, shops, and spas here. You can find live music at one of the many local bars almost every night of the week. And every time there's a holiday or a celebration in town, it's usually down here at Centro. Another must do is try the street tacos and other local cuisine. In Centro, you'll find many vendors selling street tacos, so just follow your nose and pick one. The most popular kind of street taco in this part of Mexico is the Al Pastor taco. This is marinated pork, which is skewered on a rotating spit that they shave off and serve with pineapple, onions, and cilantro. We loved visiting Mr. Taco for this one. I do recommend you get acquainted with a taco tour early on in your visit. Then go back and try all your favorites on your own. We booked a walking taco tour through My Mexican Kitchen. I'll leave a link below so you can check it out. Wow, this was three hours of incredible, flavorful food and food that we might never have tried otherwise, as well as so much information and insight into the food culture here. Highly recommend doing a taco tour with these guys. Not sponsored, it was just a great experience.
One of the coolest experiences we had not far from Bucerias was taking a trip to the natural hot springs. If you're up for an adventure, it takes about an hour and a half of driving inland to get there. Then you'll soak in these stone tubs in the therapeutic mineral water, which leaves you feeling refreshed with silky smooth skin. I've got a whole video dedicated to this special day if you want to check it out. We booked a tour which includes pickup, lunches, and massages on the beach. Keeping with the theme of places to visit just outside of Bucerias is the El Cora Crocodile Sanctuary. It's only a 15 minute drive to get there and you can take a taxi or an Uber. This is a rescue and rehabilitation center for crocodiles and other native animals. For 250 pesos or about $12, you get a guided tour where you get to meet all the animals and learn about their stories. Afterwards, you're welcome to roam the property for as long as you want. For chocolate lovers, a visit to Planeta Cacao is a must. We toured the chocolate garden and then learned about the history of chocolate and the different types of cacao trees. After learning how the beans are harvested, we got to make our own chocolate from scratch. We also enjoy visiting La Cruz, a small community 10 minutes north of Bucerias. Okay, we made it to La Cruz. We took the bus here from Bucerias. It only took 10 minutes. It was 15 pesos. Super easy. You just catch it on any of the laterals and uh, we're going to check out the market. They've got a marina and on Sundays it's host to a massive market with a festival-like atmosphere. There's also a quaint downtown plaza with a few bars and great live music. We really liked the green tomato. And finally, one of the best activities is lounging poolside. What's great about Bucerias is that there's many boutique hotels and rentals that have lush courtyard or beachfront pools to unwind and catch up on some vitamin D. I hope you enjoyed exploring Bucerias with me. For more ideas of what to do here, check out my blog post that's linked in the description below, or take a look at some of my other videos about Bucerias and the Puerto Vallarta area. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.